okay. Week 20 to 21. 20 to 21. Oh my god, how are we even here? I don't know. Do you? I don't know. It is now autumn, so I'm all in my cozy. I just got a new bed spread, so I thought I'd show it off in my lovely mustard colour. I am super love it. Um, so, the, I am now 21 weeks, 21 plus four maybe. So let me tell you about the week previous and what's been going on with me. I've been going to Aquafit three times a week now, which is absolutely amazing. amazing. It's 45 minutes of um, cardio, resistant training cardio. So that's, um, it's actually quite hard, but super, super fun and I absolutely love it. And in the water, I'm able to be free and I feel light and there's no pains. I don't have any back pains or anything. And all the pains and makes I did have everywhere else seem to be subsiding. So talking about pains, um, at night I've had um, hip and leg pains, uh, mainly just at night and on the days that I don't usually have Aquafit, I found that I do have them. I've been meaning to get some Epsom salts and having a warmish bath um, to see if that would help it, but it comes and goes and it's not too severe. My gums are still bleeding, My I'm still having headaches and I'm having insomnia now in the night which is interesting because I'll go to bed really early because I'm super, super tired and then it'll be like three in the morning and I'll just be wide awake and my brain will just be digging, 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 digging and there's nothing I can do. I just have to give up in the end and get up. I listen to bedtime stories, I listen to white noise, binaural beats, no lights, you name it. I've tried it. I don't have caffeine. So it's not that, so there's not really much more apart from it's just my hormones and this is my body, I assume, and getting ready for the little baby. Talking about babies, I have baby brain. I'll put up some clips of what I've been doing lately. This is how you know you're pregnant. What is this doing in here? <laughs> and as you can see, um, that's just a small fraction of all the things that I do on a daily basis of just completely forgetting what I'm doing and I'll just go off and, you know, or it'll be mid-sentence and I completely forget what on earth I'm talking about. And it's like, oh yeah, I'm talking about X, Y and Z. So I'm back on my food, my low carb, um, I don't know if you've watched one before, I'm back on my low carb. So it's um, low carb keto esque vibe food, which um, is really good for my insulin because it helps me break down foods and there's not much sugar or there's no sugar um, in my diet. So um, it works really well for me and I am doing okay on it. I still have had the old biscuit here and there, I'm not going to lie, hands up. Um, so, but as I'm not in a complete keto diet, it's not the end of the world. Besides, having a biscuit is not the end of the world anyway. Um, I'm definitely um, heavier than I should be at this point for my BMI, but my BMI, even when I was bodybuilding, said I was um, obese. So it's really hard to say when you've got such um, great muscle mass where you're meant to be. So um, as long as I keep within the calorie range I'm meant to have um, for this trimester, my second trimester, and I'm making sure that I'm moving my body and getting regular exercise, I'll be fine. I've started buying stuff, so we have um, a crib, well, a next to me bed, um, a Moses basket, a baby rocker, some clothes, it's just a few little bits, but um, I've done a registry, um, Amazon registry, and um, I'll link it below just in case you want to have a look at the stuff I'm using. Um, so that's really exciting and I'll do a video on like what I bought and um, from experience what I know was good and or the new stuff that's out because obviously now it's been a while 
well since I've had a, ba a baby, so everything's a little bit different and there's a lot of new gadgets that I've never even seen before that make life so much easier. So I had my 20 week scan. Oh my gosh, so exciting. And here are the food dates. Oh wait, that's upside down. There's the baby waving hello. And this is the baby, baby's head and back. This is the baby's leg. I don't know what it's doing. And then this is the baby holding its foot. Um so the baby's gender is I don't know. I don't wanna know. I wanted to keep it surprise. I'm so excited because I just, for me personally, I just think it makes it even more magical when it comes out. So put down in the comments below what you think the baby is and we'll see who is right. Um, one day I'm leaning towards boy, one day I'm leaning towards girl, but I have no, no clue. I don't know. <laughs> You don't know you can guess but the people have determined that they know it's a boy but we'll see i have two boys i'm quite happy to carry on being a boy mum um and then also at the same time i've never had a girl so either way as long as the baby is healthy that's all i care about so that was it for this week i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you're all well love you lots don't forget to subscribe